Hello everyone, got a few dirty jokes for you today. So, a man asked an American Indian what was his wife's name. He replied, she called four horses. The man said, that's an unusual name for your wife. What does it mean? The old Indian answered, it's an old Indian name. It means nag 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 nag. <laughs> So I got a warning for those of you who may be regular Bunnings customers. This one caught me by surprise. Over the last month, I became a victim of a clever scam while out shopping. Simply going out to get hardware has turned out to be quite traumatic. Don't be naive enough to think it couldn't happen to you or your friends. Here's how the scam works. Two. Seriously good-looking 20-year-old girls come over to your car as you are packing your timber and hardware. They both start wiping your windshield with a rag and Windex, with their breasts almost falling out of their skimpy t-shirt. It is impossible not to look. When you thank them and offer them some cash, they say no and instead ask you for a ride to McDonald's. You agree and they get in the back seat. On the way, they remove all of their clothes and start making out. Then one of them climbs over into the front seat and starts crawling all over you. She then takes off your pants and throws them into the back seat. While the one is keeping you distracted, the other one steals your wallet. I had my wallet stolen three times last week. By the way, Target has wallets on sale for $5. 99 cents each. <laughs> so a man entered the bus with both of his front pockets full of golf balls and sat down next to a beautiful blonde. The puzzled blonde kept looking at him and his bulging pockets. Finally, after many such glances from her, he said, it's golf balls. Nevertheless, the blonde continued to look at him for a very long time, deeply thinking about what he had said. After several minutes, not being able to contain her curiosity any longer, asked, Does it hurt as much as tennis elbow? <laughs> so a man walks into a bar with an octopus under its arm. They make their way up to the bar where the man sets the octopus down on a stool. The bartender says, Damn, not another one. Okay, what can your animal do? Steve replies, you get a lot of talented animals, do you? Well, Gropey can play any musical instrument known to man. Bartender says, Okay, let's see a sample of what he's got, and we'll make a deal. Steve turns to Gropey, points to the piano across the room, and simply says, Play. Gropey excitedly hops off the stool, waddles across the room hops onto the piano bench and plays Mozart like you've never heard him played before. Well, says the bartender, your drinks are free as long as Gropey here can, in fact, play every instrument given him. If not, you'll have to pay the tab at the end. Steve agrees. The crowd is amazed and a young lady comes up to Gropey and hands him her violin. Gropey grabs the violin and plays the Chacon from Sonata No. 2 in D minor with such precision it brings tears to the young lady's eyes. The crowd is now enthused. They bring Gropey instrument after instrument, which he plays beautifully. Finally, after a few hours and several free beers, the crowd is out of instruments and Gropey lays down on the floor. Well says Steve. Guess my drinks are on the house. The bartender, a little worried about paying the large tab, says there's got to be something, hang on a sec, and heads into the back. After several minutes of banging and a little cursing, the bartender emerges with a smile on his face and tosses something into the middle of the floor. Bagpipes. Gropey is all over them, wraps his arms around them and starts rolling around on the floor. After a few minutes, the bartender triumphantly says, Well, I guess we finally stumped him. That'll be $84.50. To which Steve replies, 
Hang on. As soon as he figures out he can't screw it, he'll play it. <laughs> so two women walk into a bar. They notice a group of younger women standing around a table in the corner. They begin to wonder aloud who might be seated at the table. Finally, the crowd begins to disperse. They see a frail man who appears to be in his 80s in the booth. On either side of him sits a girl who barely looks old enough to be in the bar. One of the women turns and asks the bartender, what's the deal with the old guy? Is he someone famous? The bartender replies, I'm not sure who he is. He started showing up a couple weeks ago. He just orders a beer, sits down in that corner booth, and starts licking his eyebrows. <laughs> so a blonde woman was speeding down the road in her little red sports car and was pulled over by a woman police officer who was also a blonde. The blonde cop asked to see the blonde driver's license. She dug through her purse and was getting progressively more agitated. What does it look like? She finally asked. The policewoman replied, It's square and it has your picture on it. The driver finally found a square mirror in her purse, looked at it and handed it to the policewoman. Here it is, she said. The blonde officer looked at the mirror, then handed it back saying, Okay, you can go. I didn't realize you were a cop. <laughs> so a very prestigious cardiologist died and was given a very elaborate funeral by the hospital where he worked for most of his life. A huge heart covered in flowers stood behind the casket during the service as all the doctors from the hospital sat in awe. Following the eulogy, the heart opened and the casket rolled inside. The heart then closed, sealing the doctor inside the beautiful heart forever. At that point, one of the mourners burst into laughter. When all eyes stared at him, he said, I'm so sorry. I was just thinking of my own funeral. I'm a gynecologist. <laughs> so a man walks into a bar and orders a cup of coffee. The bartender says, can you pay for it? The man says, I cannot pay for it, but if I show you something you've never seen before, will you give me one free? The bartender agrees, and the man proceeds. He then pulls out a rabbit, gives it directions, and lets it go. The rabbit hops over to the piano and plays an incredible symphony. The bartender is impressed and gives the man his coffee. A while later, the man has finished his coffee and orders another. The bartender responds, Now, hold on. Show me something else new. The man complies and pulls out a frog. He gives the frog directions, and the frog sings a perfect solo. Another person at the bar rushes over and offers $300 for the frog. The man takes the offer and gives the frog away. The bartender asks him, now why did you do that? That frog must be worth thousands. The man whispers, the rabbit's a ventriloquist. <laughs> so a man suffered a serious heart attack and consequently had a core double heart bypass surgery. He woke up to find that he was in the care of nuns at a Catholic hospital. When he had recovered sufficiently, a nun began to ask him questions as to how he was going to pay for all the treatment he has had. The nun asked, Do you have health insurance? The patient replied in a raspy voice, No health insurance. Then the nun asked, Do you have money in the bank? The patient replied, No money in the bank. Somewhat impatient, the nun asked, Do you have a relative who be willing to help you settle the account for your treatment? The patient said, I only have a spinster sister who is a nun. The nun became agitated and announced loudly, Nuns are not spinsters. Nuns are married to God. The patient retorted, Then send the bill to my brother-in-law. <laughs> so a bloke doctor started chatting to a female doctor at a medical convention and ended up asking her out to dinner. She said yes 
and later that night they met up at the poshest restaurant in town. Just before the entree arrived, the chick said she had to wash her hands. Then before the mains came around, she excused herself to wash her hands again. Things worked out, and they headed back to the fella's place, where the chick once again said she had to wash her hands before they started rooting. The bloke doctor pounded her as hard as he could, and seconds after he filled her up with a load of spoonta, the chick doctor once again went off to wash her hands. When she got back, the fella said, I bet you're a surgeon. The woman confirmed this and asked how he guessed, to which the bloke explained that it was because she was always washing her hands. Well, I bet you're an anesthesiologist, said the chick. Wow, that's amazing. How did you guess that? replied the dude. Because I didn't feel a thing, snapped a woman. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs>